come out of the shower, I used the shampoo and to be honest guys, like I wanted to film in there but the shower is literally like one of my favourite rituals of just self care so I really didn't want to be showering and then thinking about the camera and everything so yeah but here we are. So I have my review on the shampoo and I used the Evo Hair Ritual Salvation. Mm, it didn't give me what I was expecting, like I thought it would really cleanse my hair which it did but it didn't lather as much as I wanted it to and when I rinsed it out my hair actually feels really dry like it doesn't feel silky or moisturized and the shampoos I love are like for me the ones that leave your hair feeling really silky and it has a really nice feel to it because then when I go to apply the conditioner they just bond together and it's literally like a whole party so I wouldn't really use it again but of course I'm gonna finish it like I'm make, gonna make sure I don't waste it or if there's any of my friends who want to use it by all means necessary but I personally wouldn't get it and use it because it just didn't really like give me anything wow about it so I hope the conditioner is and the mousse are going to change that opinion so i'm now going to use the repairing conditioner and it does say you should leave it in for two minutes but i'm actually going to steam my hair because my hair has been so dry the last few days i don't know what's going on so i'm just going to give it some love to remind it that i love it and i'm here for it for whatever it needs i'm going to sit in the steamer and um, this way and then i'm actually going to turn my body so that i can get the nape of my hair as well and i find that with a steamer sometimes it doesn't get the back because obviously the steam is just going upwards so I want to get this area which I think I've been neglecting so let's try the conditioner there we go <laughs> okay so if I was doing this in the shower it would be a little bit time-consuming for me I like all of my conditioner to just come out all at once the smell I still don't know what this smell is in the last review I was like I said it was like the shampoo you get from um, relaxes like the cook kits but it's not that Whew. okay so far my hair has literally drank this up so we're gonna spit it into sections I'm gonna start with this one I always apply the conditioner from the ends and then I work my way up because there's no point in applying it um, here first when you're detangling because you have to start from the bottom anyway so you might as well love the bottom with the conditioner and then if you need any more you can always apply more as you go it's actually kind of sitting on my hair it's not really going inside of it so I definitely think two minutes is a little bit too short for the time but I think with the steamer, it's really gonna like work well. I'm just gonna apply it a lot more on the ends because they're quite dry. So this probably means it's time for a trim, guys. And I know some of you, especially on Instagram, have been asking me to show you how to trim my hair. But I have a whole curly hair salon where I do my special technique. So me showing you is literally playing myself big time. So as much as I wish I could show you guys, this is the one thing I can't because like I said I literally built a whole salon to be able to look after people's curls and give them bomb shapes so if I'm now here on YouTube teaching you how to do it who's gonna walk through my door you know okay so I definitely need more conditioner I think I've done like 20 pumps <laughs> so now yeah now it's like really going into my hair like I can feel how silky it's getting so I guess for this conditioner you need a lot and because of the pump situation on our curls we don't have that time like we as curly girls we literally need a product that will just be in huge quantity and will just coat the hair instantly like that's what we need so it's almost done um, with the detangling and I now need to get the back area which is always the driest so it's really good as well like whenever you're doing your treatments to make sure you are attentive to your hair so that you know where it needs more attention because often this front area gets all the love 
when really the back is always neglected like even on my clients i see it all the time we neglect the back of our hair so make sure you guys are really applying the product evenly and distributing it wherever it needs to go i've just done a good five pumps and i'm now just going into the back and just smoothing that in then i'm going to use my felicia leatherwood brush that i use all the time i'm going to use that at the end with all the hair because i just want to swoop it together and put it in a bun so that is done almost maybe boom okay so now we clip this up i hope the clip stays all right, so now we're gonna do the other side. And there's actually a huge difference, like in how this side feels and how the other one feels. My hair needed that conditioner fast. I'm just removing the hair I lost. So I lost about this much hair. Oh, there we go. <laughs> you guys can actually see the huge difference between the hair. And don't mind me, I'm literally just pumping this conditioner for my dear life right now. And as usual, we start from the ends and work my way up. On a side note, I've actually had so much fun creating YouTube videos. Like, the last, it's almost going to be two months since we've been at home, but I've, it's just honestly been like therapy for me because I just love sitting on my sofa and having these ideas and then putting them together it's honestly just so much fun for me to have a goal in my head and then bring it to light like i just love that whole process so thank you guys for rocking with me i know i've been very um what's the word i can use to describe my time on youtube i guess i just i've been really inconsistent since starting it but we talked about this and I'm gonna do better now. I'm gonna be interested to see how I like create a schedule for myself that allows me to be still, but also allows me to be the boss of a salon and also a content creator when everything's back to normal. Because I think just having all this free time has just given me perspective into life is about doing things that make you happy with a balance of, I guess, doing things that pay the bills. And although you should always strive to do things that make you happy, sometimes like if you're in school and you really enjoy your course, but you also have to save up to pay for your dorm or your food, like life is a balance of that. And then eventually when you have graduated and you get your dream job, like that hustle and that drive that you had is what you'll be really thankful for. So. I think I'm in that stage where I'm just like, I want to have the best life for myself and the future versions of me. And I want to have fun whilst doing that as well. But anyway, back to the conditioner. <laughs> so the same um, thing over here, it's very dry. So I need way more conditioner. So, so far with the pump, I think honestly, if you have hair like mine, like you've got thick hair, this isn't for you because you'll be here for so long just trying to get it out and like I said I want something I can dig my hand into and, or something I can squeeze and it's out there I don't want to be bent over because you know in the shower it's actually so awkward to pump stuff because you're washing your hair standing up and then you have to do this and when you pump it it like almost falls off your hand so you're just there like do, finding somewhere to balance it <laughs> so that you can get the conditioner in your hand. That's the only critique I have for the packaging because I'm big on packaging as well and aesthetic. Ever since, especially having the salon, like I had so many products to choose from, but I had to look at the brand and say, does it fit with my ethos? Is it gonna look good on the shelves? Is it a good product? So there's a lot that goes into it. So now I'm just separating the ends in the back especially, but I'm just gonna pull it apart instead of rake because there's quite a lot. So yeah, I wanna make sure I'm being gentle on it. And this technique is really good for my coily girls. Like if you have a really big tangle, you just strand by strand pull the hair apart from it. And then eventually you'll be left with like 
two strands that are holding onto a big knot. So in case you're always struggling with the tangling, that's always a really good technique as well. We're almost there guys. I'm so excited to go under the seamer because my hair needs that. It's always so good when you're done detangling and your fingers can go through. It's like an achievement. Okay, so my hair is all detangled now. This is what it looks like. And I'm gonna apply more conditioner, but specifically to the back and to the ends. And then I'm gonna just do a big brush. So to the back, to this end, and smooth it in. And then to these ends, and smooth it in. So now I'm going to use the brush and because I've already detangled my hair I can start from the root on this one but if this is um, your preferred way of detangling then make sure you start from the bottom because you don't want to rip your hair apart. <laughs> I always focus my attention the most on the ends because that's the oldest part of your hair so make sure you guys are really focusing on that. Like it's so, so important because breakage goes upwards. So you don't want to be causing split ends or anything like that. And this part of my hair, the driest, I really need to comb that through. So just before I put my hair in a bun, I'm going to apply the last amount of conditioner to my ends. The one thing I have noticed is that my hair has really absorbed the product like really well. It's literally drinking it. So that's a good sign and I'm really excited to see how with the steam it will nourish my hair so to steam you can put your hair in like two buns um, or you can just put it in one like you can do so many different things but for this I'm gonna put it in one bun going up And I love to expose the ends a little bit just so that it can get the benefits of the steam. So now I'm going to sit under the steamer for maybe 15 to 20 minutes and then once I take it out I shall rinse it and style. I'm very nervous guys because I literally have been sticking to the same products for so long now so I'm a little bit nervous and if I have a bad hair day whew, that means I have to wash it all over again or just live in buns until I have the energy to just do this spa treatment that we've got going on. So yeah, it's time to steam now. So I've taken it out. Oh, my hair feels good. It feels so good. It feels so soft. Like the condition and the steam really bonded. So I'm really, really excited to see what it's gonna look like once I style it. So I'm gonna rinse this out now. I'm just gonna do a light rinse and I'm gonna use lukewarm water, not too hot, not too cold. And yeah, I'll be back really soon. All right, so first impressions. Sorry guys, I just love any chance to give my scalp a massage. It feels so good. Okay, so my hair feels good, but because of the steam, because I can really feel the softness. But as for the product, like when I was rinsing it out, it didn't feel silky. It wasn't like what I anticipated, you know? So out of 10, I'll give the conditioner a four. And the shampoo, a six. So I'd say for the conditioner, if you're someone who maybe has wavy hair or finer hair, you have the time of your life. But if you have hair like mine, for also the pump was very time consuming and not a lot came out. And then it just didn't, seep into my hair how I would have wanted to without the steamer so that's just the vibe so the curl cream I'm going to use is by Holy Curls 
and let's just check the ingredients, I mean <laughs> the instructions. Rake through wet hair, shake at the ends to allow your curls to form naturally, scrunch your volume or whatever works for you. Okay, let's see what this is like. So usually at this point I would have used a leave-in but we're jumping straight into a curl cream. And I'm going to start at the ends as always. Ooh, my hair is drinking this. It was very different to what I ever use. The products I use are always a lot more thicker than this. This is like instant soak. So yeah, we'll see. Okay, so the reason why I've just applied everything like to the ends like this is because my ends are always the quickest thing to dry. So I wanna make sure if they do start to dry, they're drying with something. Okay. So now it's style time. As you guys know, I love to section and I'm going to section. I always usually do the bottom like so. Okay. So we have this lovely hairstyle going on right now. And I'm going to use some more curl cream and break it on this side. This feels really nice, but I think it's because I applied so much um, curl cream to this bottom part and this is about to fall, so let me just connect this hairband if I can find it. There we go. Okay, so I've put a little bit too much here, so I'm just going to remove this. I removed about that much. Okay, that's the perfect amount. Then I'm going to use my brush by Felicia Leatherwood to smooth that in. And then I'm going to put this in a twist. So I'm trying not to change my styling techniques that I usually do. Um, I'm just applying it as I would if it was my favorite product that I usually use so that I can see the true results as opposed to me just going like this and leaving it like there'll be such a huge difference so that's why we're going to do it like this trying new hair products is just so expensive as well like honestly natural hair conditioners are like we're in London anyway like if you want a really good one that's like a good 20 20 pounds and then the styler the gel or mousse or foam or leave-in oil conditioner shampoo like hair mask silk pillowcase hair band detangler it's a lot like it's so much this side has got too much so again i've removed some and how i can tell is this white residue we've got going on even though most of it will dry i really don't want to have clumpy curls or do i want to have hair that's just static and like just doesn't have movement i hate that whenever i wash my hair like i want my hair to have movement definition because the more movement you have the more you like you'll get the shape and the volume that you want so that's really important to me okay so now that that's done i am going to apply the gel and for the gel i'm going to rake that through and then I'm going to go in really small sections to bring out all the definition. And then I'm going to use the smallest amount of um, hair mousse from Evo Hair to lock everything in. Okay, so there's a lot of white going on. I'm scared. I hope it disappears. My poor gown is literally like covered in conditioner or curl cream, whatever it is. <laughs> So this is it now, let's pray we don't have residue at the end of this whole situation because Neo will not be happy and neither will my curls, okay? It means that either I've put too much or um, it's not being absorbed by my hair or my hair doesn't like it and it's saying, sis, get this off of me. But so far so good in terms of the, the curls, like they've all been brought out so yeah so what I do to define my curls is I apply the gel and then I'm gonna use the brush to literally smooth out like each small section so it takes me 
a little longer than just raking a gel through but you end up with really nice results so yeah let's do this guys i don't know why i'm whispering usually when i do this you know when you use a new product you kind of forget everything you're doing but it's gonna be okay I love the smell of this gel. I can literally hear all the products. Oh God. <laughs> Guys, I'm nervous. Like, honestly, I can't wait to see the results. So I've just done a rough coat of the gel and I just want to feel for the texture mixed with the curl cream. And if you don't really have time to do this and you just want to try something but you don't want to go through this whole process then you can literally just style the back of your hair but I want to see how each curl responds because my hair is so different everywhere some curls are ringlets, some are loose so my defined curls that are underneath might respond better to it than the curls on top so I wanted to get the whole feel for it and kind of gauge the vibe so I usually tip my head upside down for this it's not going to look flattering okay so all I do for this is I take small sections and then I brush the curl down or you can even just brush it towards you as well okay guys so i finished doing that and now i'm actually going to scrunch some of the product out with a curly hair towel i never even do this but it's just too much product at this point i really don't like doing this <laughs> okay now I just need to wake it up from the towel and let's see what that looks like. Guys, I am scared. <laughs> like genuinely so scared. I really hope that this turns out nice. It's still white. I'm not amused. I'm not amused. For me to have loved the curly hair products I love, I had to try them. So I just pray. <laughs> that we like these okay so now i'm gonna scrunch my hair then i'm gonna take a, the tiniest amount of this mousse because i'm not convinced with the hole that the gel had especially because i used the tiniest amount so i'm gonna scrunch like maybe even one pump but for now i'm gonna scrunch with the gel and let's see the vibe of this so i'm applying some more gel and it's actually bouncing up and i'm testing it in this area underneath and it's actually coming together and then I'm just using a brush to smooth in the ends I'm gonna apply a little bit more gel at the back smooth that in have a scrunch party and mousse it up guys this mousse is the truth it's literally <laughs> revived like all the curls and the curls I can tell if they'll look good or not are the ones at the back so and it smells really nice as well so these are the results from doing my scrunch and using the mousse and so far it looks very different to my other wash and go like usually I've got a lot more shine Oh, guys I'm scared honestly you guys know the struggle like trying a new hair product is like headache because you'll be so excited you're midway styling and you're like mm, and you just keep going and then you see the results and you're just like so I'm, I'm scared but it's gonna be okay so so far uh, I just I hope I hope this product prove products I hope these products prove themselves to me because yeah I don't know maybe it's because I'm not used to this kind of finish but usually I'm used to like I know instantly like bam curls pop in like I know when my curls are about to show me a good time and right now they aren't doing that I can see some curl that's about to get real frizzy. So I'm just going to apply some more foam over here. Okay guys, so these are the results that we've got going on right now. I'm a little bit nervous as I've said throughout this 
entire video but um, I'm gonna let it air dry and then I'm gonna diffuse it once it's 60% dry and I'll show you guys the results so I pray in Jesus name that when you guys click on or when you see the next results on the next slide that I look good and my curls look good okay okay <laughs> but um yeah I'll see you guys in a second like literally I'm so excited but nervous to see the results all right guys lesson learned don't judge something until you see the results my hair looks good <laughs> i was just so nervous because of the amount of residue like usually when i style my hair i rarely even see it but i guess because i know how much to use whereas this it was my first time so i guess next time i don't need to stress about that part but i really like it so far the only thing i'm not really happy with is the amount of crunch but hopefully the Aveda oil will get that out. So it's been, I'd say, an hour and a half, maybe two hours since um, I was recording with my wet hair. And it actually dried up really quickly. So now I'm just going to diffuse to get the volume and then I will apply the oil. For me, I never really rock day one hair. So I'm going to show you guys what it looks like tomorrow. And then you guys will get my final verdict of all the products. So to diffuse, I'm going to use my Dyson diffuser, which I've been using for literally like a year and a bit now. It's so good. 10 out of 10, like would recommend. So let's get the volume, guys, because I need it. I miss it. <laughs> guys these are the results from diffusing and my hair feels good it's still a little bit damp though um in the back but i'm just gonna let that air dry because i haven't got anywhere to go so i can do that but it feels really nice the only difference to my usual wash and go is the curls aren't as they are defined but usually with my wash and go like the ends in particular literally like perfect corkscrew curls and um, not that I care about perfection, but that's the only difference I can see and of course the texture is different um, It's a lot more not crunchy because I've obviously taken it out from the diffuser But it's got more hold to it in comparison to my other Wash and go that I usually do so yeah, but I'm really grateful that I used more mousse because I feel like the mousse saved like the hair because after I put it on it was a party like my curls were popping the curls down here feel really delicious, like they were really dry. This area still needs some more work. As you guys can tell, my hair has got no shape right now. Like every um, wash day that I do, like day one hair, it just falls so flat. So I love day two hair because I don't know what this is right now. <laughs> so yeah, tomorrow you guys will see like the shape really come to light because for right now, I don't know what's going on. So I'm gonna finish it off with the Aveda oil. And the only reason why I like to use oil, especially when I have crunchy curls like this, it just like removes the cast, but I just like to give my hair shine. And that's literally it. So let's try this out. Ooh, this smells nice. Ooh, it's, that smells so good, guys. I love to put oil like in the back of my hair and at the front just because it needs it okay I'm, I'm a fan guys what do you guys think of the results <laughs> this is not the full results just yet though but this is like just before you put on your bronzer like you put on your foundation and you can see it coming together but you still need the bronzer and the blush I still need the volume but the shape is questionable. One second. It's the next morning and these are the results. I'm really, really happy with these products. I definitely underestimated them and my curls are definitely a lot more defined. They are a little bit crunchy still, so I'm gonna try and soften them up a bit, but I'm sure as the wash and go goes, 
um, it will defo soften up and get bigger and fluffier but I need to get the volume that I want so I'm gonna use the oil so even though yesterday I did use um, I think three or four pumps of the oil when my hair was damp I always use an oil in the mornings anyway just to refresh my shape and just to give it some nice shine so I just use three pumps I'm just gonna move it around my hands to warm it up and then just go into my scalp and literally just wake up the roots I love to do this before I use a comb just because it's like a really gentle way of doing it and you just get really nice volume as well because you're obviously going up and down in a circular motion so it just wakes up where you want the volume to start from because for me I love the volume at the top so if I want that I just have to literally like be patient and just keep going. So this is the shape we're now working with and I'm just going to use my pick just to wake it up and we will have the final results of the products. These are the final results from the products guys and I'm truly impressed. My hair is so much bigger than it usually is on the official day one and I'm really really happy. I feel like it's so defined. Um, it isn't as moisturized as my usual wash and go so maybe next time use less mousse and still use less curl cream because you guys know like there was so much on my hair um, and maybe I don't know maybe using a different deep conditioner as well also has impacted the moisture it just feels a lot more lightweight but I guess it's always good to have healthy light hair you don't have to have heavy hair with where you feel the product for it to emphasize how moisturized it is if that makes sense so yeah but what do you guys think are you guys going to try any of the products let me know in the comments below and i hope you enjoyed this review it was my first official youtube review and i've got so many more to come as you guys know from the hair collection video i did i have so many hair products so yeah if you guys want to see anything just let me know <laughs> but again I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe as we're almost at 100k and I cannot wait to celebrate that with you so yeah I'll see you guys for the next video bye guys